this just feels so good. If you've never done this, man, does it feel delightful. What's going on guys? If you want to support our content and pick up this month's amazing Patreon rewards, you can do so at patreon.com slash it resolves. If you're interested in custom playmats and sleeves, visit yourplaymat.com and use code ITRESOLVES10YP for 10% off your entire purchase. What's up guys? Before we jump into today's video, I just want to give you a quick heads up. We have got a brand new series coming out called It Is What It Is starting on February 8th at noon Eastern Standard Time. I'm going to put that schedule up on screen for you right now. It's a really exciting series with my good friend and fellow YouTuber Country Fried where we are going to be building some jank decks in a semi-competitive historic format uh, just to have some fun and uh, hopefully build some fun stuff along the way. So please do mark your calendars. Check that out. It's going to be a lot of fun and go ahead and subscribe over with country fried as well so you can get all of the updates from both of us we will have updates on both channels so please do check all of that out now let's get into the video what is going on everybody and welcome back to another standard gameplay video i hope you guys are doing exceptionally well today we have got a fun one uh before we jump into that i just want to remind you please make sure you subscribe to the channel it really does mean a lot to us any and all support is greatly appreciated and i think today marks the official one month of a video every single day on the it resolves channel i think january 4th was the start date so thank you guys so much for uh checking all of that out you guys have really shown up strong uh for this and i really do appreciate it so thank you guys very much but let's talk about today's deck which is brought to you by uh a friend of ours over on aether hub dana gross uh who shared this which i love the name by the way uh i don't believe there was a channel to share so i won't be able to link him down below but i do want to credit where credit's due Thana gross did create this deck and i was looking for something janky and my goodness did this deliver uh we're gonna give this one a shot don't know if we're gonna make it work or not but we will certainly try so here's the deal the the goal of the deck is to utilize things like Valakut Awakening to cycle things back into the deck, all while trying to control the game with things like Path of Peril, Meat Hook Massacre, uh, you know, uh, the, the Shambling Gas maybe can throw some things out and all that stuff. The idea is to get Maskwood Nexus down, activate the World Tree to get all of our creatures out that are gods, which is everything, thanks to the Maskwood Nexus, uh, and then hopefully win the game immediately with Hoffrey Ghost Forge giving everything plus one plus one and trample, Blade Historian giving everything double strike, and hopefully getting a lot of life off of the Righteous Valkyrie. That's the that's the deal. That's the whole thing. Uh, Zorn is in here. Obviously, there is a treasure sub theme, so the idea is to kind of ramp into it. Uh, and hopefully we can do that with Zorn, uh, with Goldspan Dragon. We've got the Reclusive Painter. We've got quite a bit to help us get their Skullport Merchant, Deadly Dispute, all to kind of help us get where we need to be. Uh, and that's it. That's the whole deck. That, <laughs> that's the point. We're going to try it. Uh, Thanagross, I really do appreciate you sharing this. I think it's going to be a really fun one. So we're going to jump straight into some games here. If we can get it to work, great. If we can't, it's OK. We're just going to have some fun today. Uh, Neon Dynasty is almost here, guys. So I'm not stressing about putting competitive decks up. I just want to have some fun. Uh, and this is certainly a good way to do it. So let's jump straight into game one. All right, guys, here we are for game number one. And uh, this is a bit of an odd one, but I guess we keep it. I don't know. We'll see how this goes. We've got a lot of tap lands, which is a little annoying, but I think it'll be okay. Uh, as long as we draw into like a second black source, we should be okay. And there it is, actually. That's helpful. Um, I guess let's just throw this out. We're lur we're this is a jank deck. We're learning as we go here, guys. So please don't uh, worry too much about <laughs> the plays being perfect. So this is not that kind of video. Um, oh, okay. Uh. I think I will just go ahead and play that out. Seems pretty good. Uh, if we can get extra treasures, great. If we lose out to something, that's fine to you. Curious as to what they might have. Um, they could just have... Oh, there's a Righteous Valkyrie. Oh, that's pretty good. Uh, Skullport Merchant's pretty helpful, actually. So we can drop this down. That's going to give us an extra treasure token. <coughs> uh, which ramps us, of course. But importantly, it's going to give us a way to kind of deal with this if we need to. <coughs> Excuse me. All right. Uh, we do have the Maskwood Nexus in hand, which is helpful. We can actually get rid of one of them if we need to. Uh, 
Uh, wow, they have another Righteous Valkyrie. That's annoying. We might just have to kill all these, <laughs> uh, including our own stuff, just so we don't have to deal with double Righteous Valkyrie. That's a problem. They also just don't have any extra mana here, uh, as you may notice. That's interesting. I guess we go white. We do want all colors of mana here, uh, and so that is important. I think we just have to do this. Uh, I guess we can attack in first, though. Yeah, let's do it. We have to kill the Righteous Valkyries. We can't let those stick on the battlefield. They definitely kill us uh, in very little time here. So we're going to take that opportunity. We'll see if they actually decide to block. It looks like they're not, uh, which is great for us. It's a little bit of extra damage in, and uh, we can just zap them for four. Get everything off the field here. We do lose our Zorn as well as the Skullport Merchant, which is kind of annoying, but it's not the end of the world. Most importantly, we get them away from that 27 life total. Uh, so hopefully they don't have more of the uh, Righteous Valkyries here. It looks like they don't. Um, I think they would have played it if they had it. Okay, uh, that's interesting. Um, I think we're going to just play this down. And I think we end up just playing this also. Um, that might be wrong, I don't know, but I, I think that that's the right play. That allows us to path apparel if we need to and just blow everything up. Uh, yeah, we lose the opportunity to get rid of a mask with Nexus here, but I think that's kind of okay. Um, we do just get to blow this up and this, all of this. Um, I guess they can give it indestructible if they'd like. That's a bit annoying. Um, all right, land. We don't even have to play this um, for everything, so we just get to do this. Now, I know they get to keep this around, but, like, it's kind of fine. I mean, it's not great, but it is what it is. Um, all right. <clears throat> See how they do. Wow, uh, that doesn't help them, does it? That still dies. I don't know why they did that, uh, but that's cool. Let's just activate this. Gives us a little blocker. It's nothing great, but they have to get more counters on this before they can uh, really activate it. Uh, and it does just slow them down, so that's helpful. So we do kind of have the combo at this point. Like, it's just a matter of, oh, they had that. Well, it's just a matter of, like, we need enough lands. Um, let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right. Well, we don't have enough yet. That's fine. Uh, hmm. I think we throw this out. Uh, can we do this? This isn't sorcery speed, so we can do this on our turn. That's really what we should have done. That was kind of a mistake, but... Okay. Let's see what they do. Interesting. Uh, well, we just get to kill the Brutal Cathar. That was fine. Easy kill. Um, that was kind of silly. I don't know why they attacked with that. But I'm cool with it. Skullport Merchant. Uh, that's pretty helpful. Let's drop it down. <clears throat> uh, we're getting there. Slowly but surely. Um, it is a slow process, but... Alright, I think we pass. Um, hmm. So they can get the Brutal Cathar back. Oh, they're gonna get Righteous Valkyrie. That makes sense. Yeah, that's just really good. So now that has flying, uh, which is a problem. Let's just spit out a little token here. We can sack that token uh, to the Skullport Merchant here. <clears throat> Question is, do we want to do that now? I think we do. Uh, it does waste a treasure token, though. I kind of hate that. But we need land, truthfully. 
Uh, hey, we have a Righteous Valkyrie of our own. That's actually kind of helpful. Uh, let's throw this out. Let's throw this out. Uh, hmm. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We still don't have anywhere near enough. Um, let's gain some life. One good thing, uh, this does gain us life because everything is a cleric. Uh, now this obviously is already a cleric uh, or an angel, but it just kind of helps us get where we need to be. This is bad. Now we're dead. Yeah, we're just super dead. Um, I guess we can live once. That's terrifying. Uh, yeah, we're super, super dead here. Um, <laughs> all right, cool. Well, that was fun. Uh, Look, we were pretty close, but we just didn't get enough treasure token. I, I mean, I think that's just the problem is we just didn't get enough, right? Like, can't really help that. We have to block that just to live. Uh, yeah. They gained so much life this turn. Um, we, we can't do the thing. We can't do the thing. Crap. Uh, all right, we're going to concede. Let's jump into game two. Maybe we can get it there. <laughs> all right, guys, here we are for game number two. And uh, I do like this hand a lot better. Let's keep this. This is a pretty aggressive hand, but I, I think that's okay. Uh, we can drop down the Haunted Ridge first, then the Pathway so we can get the Reclusive Painter down. And then hopefully Zorn uh, can do some work as well. I'll just go ahead and throw this down. That's fine. Uh, we also get quite a bit closer to the Goldspan Dragon, which is helpful. Uh, if we can keep Zorn around and still have that out, uh, we'll be in really good shape. Uh, let's play this, and let's play that Reclusive Painter now. That's fine. Um, Zombies, I assume, is, yeah, definitely the deck we're up against, which is a scary one. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say. Maybe don't attack with that. Um... <laughs> I think we block here. Um, they get to kill this, I know, uh, if they'd like, and that's kind of okay. We're in the, the camp of saving damage. That's kind of all we have to do. Uh, and so I, I think that that's still the best play. All right, let's go here. Let's go here. <coughs> uh, not a super exciting play, but with that Goldspan Dragon in hand, if Zorn can stick on the battlefield, we will be in okay shape um reveal and put in your hand okay uh we'll pass we're not gonna we'll take the two this dies obviously then they get a bunch of activations zombies is so resilient if you guys didn't see the necro duality list that we put out just the other day you should watch it holy crap was it fun uh all right let's drop this we'll auto pay um we will attack in with it just because we kind of need to get the treasure tokens going. Uh, the problem we have at the moment is we are very flooded uh, and we don't have a lot we can do. I'd love a meat hook massacre. Like, that would be killer. Yeah, please attack with that. That's great. Not going to attack with the, uh, the Thraven? I think we will take the kill here. Um, Zorn's done a good job here, uh, but really we just need to save some damage so we can keep moving forward. Okay, uh, that's a heck of a good card, but thankfully it enters tab. Wow, we just have every Goldspan Dragon in the book, don't we? Um, I mean, I guess we go for it. We're kind of just on the Goldspan plan, you know? Um... I'm gonna attack. Get a bunch of treasure, uh, and we get to play another one. <laughs> I mean, I feel like that's really the only thing we can do here is uh, push the damage as, as quickly as we can here. I mean, we just have three gold spans, which is like really good. Um, this is terrifying, but uh, we are at 13 and they are facing down lethal next turn. So we might have a shot, we'll, we'll see. Um, I would love a Meat Hook Massacre for two. Just get everything off the field, be done. Uh, we could just win off of that. 
Um, but truthfully, I really want to see this combo at heart. We're not going to get it this time, I know, but... Bait hook for zero. That's interesting. Okay. I mean... Yeah. So they're just trying to get us to lose a life there? That, that's fine. <laughs> All right. <laughs> that's hilarious. Um, I mean, right? Like, we might as well. We get so much treasure. Look at this. All right, so we just win. All right, cool. That wasn't what we were planning, but it worked out. We still got a win. That, was, that shows off the power of Goldspan Dragon, I'm telling you. But, uh, all right, we'll jump into a game three. All right, guys, here we are for game three. This will probably be our final game. And uh, yeah, we'll keep this. Uh, I think we definitely have to go red. So let's just do that um, and probably go black on the other two, actually, so we can get the path to peril down. Oh, yeah, definitely doing that. Um, especially with this draw, uh, because now we do have the white source available as well. But this is definitely a thin deck, uh, not something I'm interested in dealing with too often so we'll go that route uh let's do this and let's just do this now, i know we could have played the zorn first just to get an extra treasure token but i i'd rather keep the zorn around and i'm happy to block here if they decide they uh want to attack okay um maybe i won't i'm gonna take it yeah i think that's fine uh, let's throw you out. Throw you out. I'm gonna kind of hold off. Um, we're not under a huge threat here. I mean, that's just the reality of it. And so I'm all too happy to kind of get some of these things down. The only thing that dies here with the Path of Peril is the Shambling Gas. Uh, and so I'm not in a hurry to, like, throw that out. We're not losing yet. Um... <laughs> And so we'll we'll see what they do. Oh, this is just elves. Oh, well that that's cool. I'm fine with that. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'll happily block here. Uh, we get to create an extra treasure token here, which is definitely the play. I'm not gonna worry about killing this. I don't really care. Um, do we want a Valakut Awakening? Nah. Oh. Oh, even better. All right, uh, we'll throw you out. Uh, I'm going to attack. They're going to take it. That's fine by me. Um, let's meat hook for three. Yeah, I mean, that gets rid of this. I know we lose our Zorn here, but like... We definitely set up for a much better turn, and we get to save that path uh, of uh, peril here, which I think is important. Um, against an elves deck, we don't want to lose any of our sweepers if we can help it. Um, okay. Yeah, if you want to exile the Meat Hook Massacre, I don't really care that much. Uh, that's not a big hit for us. So it's an annoying thing to, to get rid of for sure, but that's not like a game ending play for us by any means. So all too happy to take that. All right, yeah. Um, certainly a good card, and they do get the Circle of Dreams Druid, which is very good. Um, yeah, I mean, I think we just do this and throw the, uh, the little guy back there. Um, hmm. I mean, I think we dig up. I think we just kind of have to. Uh, what do we get, though? Like, for our game plan, either the World Tree or Maskwood Nexus is really what we want. Uh, for fighting them, I think we've got other options, but... I think, uh... I think it's maybe just Maskwood Nexus here. We'll no attack and be done. Um... We need to get that Maskwood Nexus down. We still need to get the, uh, the World Tree down as well, but, like... You know, it is what it is. We'll figure it out. <laughs> Am 
My assumption is they'll say target land gets the three greens so they can play the Circle of Dreams Druid. I mean, that seems pretty good, but they're going to slowly kind of run out of stuff here, uh, which is great for us because then we can just path apparel. The only downside is, of course, they do have the Lair of the Hydra, um, which we don't really have a good answer for at the moment. All right, uh, we'll just play that and I think we just pass. Um... I'd like to... We'll see what they play this turn. We may want to sack the Skullport Merchant to itself. Um, or no, we can't, I suppose. Dang, that sucks. Well, we'll see. Okay. Annoying, definitely. Um, well, I guess we can just activate with this. That's pretty helpful. I assume they just gain life, right? I think that's probably the best bet. They can't draw cards yet, so. Cool. Interesting. I was gonna say, I don't know. Oh, they just were getting counters on it. Did they stick? No, it's just till the end of the turn. Well, that's a little weird. Um, oh, there's the world tree. That's really helpful. Uh, let's see. I think we just Path of Peril. Is that right? Probably. Yeah, we're just going to destroy all creatures. Technically, we should have attacked him first, but it's all good. That Realm Walker is a scary card, so it's not something I'm interested in uh, keeping on the field. Now they're at least they're top decking. They can't hit with the Lair, but... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. We need a land off the top. That's bad. Uh, that's really, really bad for us. Uh, can they flip it? No. No, they can't quite flip it. You do get to draw some cards, though, uh, and get an attack in with it. That's scary. Ooh, don't like that. Um, all right, give me an untapped land. Please give me an untapped land. Please. That's all I need. That is not an untapped land. <laughs> um, we can draw some cards off of it, though. We get a treasure token in its place, so I'm happy to do this. Yeah. Oh, Meat Hook Massacre. Um, also, Dig Up doesn't have a uh, basic land target, by the way. Just something to think about. All right. Uh, we have to kill this, like, immediately. No other option. That's not something we can leave on the field, because they can definitely transform it next turn, and that's bad. Uh, okay. Next turn, we can definitely find the land because we have Dig Up, but I would rather just draw it naturally if we can help it. Uh, so we'll see what happens here. It looks like, I mean, they've got one card in hand, but I think, yeah, they just layer. They get to draw here uh, because of these. That's a nice little combo. <laughs> sure. I would have just drawn twice, honestly. <sighs> Come on now. Um, dang. All right. We have to make this work, guys. We have to make this work. Um, doesn't actually matter what land we get. We'll play Zorn. All right. Next turn, we might be able to do this. <laughs> uh, hopefully. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right. We can do it next turn. Please. Please, 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 please let this work. This will be so sick if it does. That's all I want to do is make this work once. Um, they're going to gain three. Oh, they already went to combat. They didn't do anything. That's weird. All right. Yes, let's do this. <laughs> Please, we get all the god cards, which is all of our creatures. Uh, all right. You, you, you. Uh, let's only get one of you, of course. Uh, and let's get all of you. Yeah! <laughs> oh, guys, it works. Oh, Thanagros, this is so sick. <laughs> We could even play this, but let's not. Let's just attack. We freaking did it, man. Heck yes. 
That's so fun. Uh, this is an old combo, by the way. We've seen the World Tree Maskwood Nexus combo before, but this just feels so good. If you've never done this, man, does it feel delightful. Look at this. Minus 47, ending on 71 life. That's what we were hoping for. Let's talk about this. Okay, guys, so obviously a janky deck today. That was the goal. We weren't trying to do anything too crazy. I wanted to do something, I say too crazy. We didn't want to do anything too competitive. I was just trying to do something kind of fun and it certainly worked out. Thanagros, I just want to say again, a huge thank you for sharing this deck over on Aetherhub. I apologize, I would share your channel, but I don't think you have one. It didn't have a video tied to it and I did look for you, but I didn't see you. Uh, but regardless, very, very fun. And I do appreciate it very much. It. That was great. I mean, we got it to work. I'm so happy we got it to work. So that was awesome, guys. I hope you enjoyed this one. If you did, please leave a like or a comment down below. Of course, subscribe not only to support the channel, but enter the giveaway and stay tuned because the, again, that it is what it is video. Uh, episode one is going up on the 8th. So I encourage you to check that one out, but I'll see you guys later. Thank you so much for watching. We'll, uh, we'll have some fun very soon with some more gameplay videos.